So welcome back everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia today doing a short video and sharing um, some of the functions and uh, accessories we have put on a dozer for Malcolm Royer in the US, he's in California, and um, we've done these modifications for him, and this is his dozer that is now complete, and we're gonna ship it uh, across to him. So I'll just run through a few things that we've done, is uh, we've fitted some special lights and some special beacons um, up here, let me get into focus up here, and uh, we've got a display screen that shows uh, temperature and pressure. I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer. You can probably see it's hard to um, it's hard to focus this camera. You're going to get some shakes, guys, so I apologize for that. So I'll get the camera out here. There, you can see the screen. Um, let's see if we can get a better view from here. So you can see the screen um, up there. What the screen does, uh, it shows you uh, temperature as well as pressure, battery voltage, um, and things like that and then there is a, a light sequence and uh, we've got single stick controls for this dozer so you can operate both the tracks on a single stick so while it's nice and quiet I'll show you um, the precise track control let me get this camera into focus first precise uh, track controls using one single stick let's focus this up so um, let's go through the start sequence. So basically, this one is for the hydraulics. We won't start it now because it's too noisy. But um, hydraulics and the rippers engaged to a safe position. I'll put the hydraulics off, um, and then we'll actually go for the engine start. Now you can see um, how precise the track controls are. I'm using a single joystick up here, but if I want, I can precisely control the tracks with very fine movement. You can go faster also if you want, but it's really, really precise in actually tracking this machine. Um, so the next function is the actual lights. So let's bring this machine um, up front so we can see it. I'll get the camera into focus. So if you push the switch simply up, you're going to get one group of lights. I'll pan the camera in the center so we can see all the lights functional. There you go. Uh, now if I get it back into the center and I push it down, I'm going to get the second set of lights. Now, again, from the center, I'm quickly going to go up and come back to the center. That's going to give me my beacons. And then I'm going to go from the center down and come back again. And you can see that's got the, the fourth set of lights. Now, I'm going to track this completely opposite so that we can see how bright the lights are. Okay. And I'm going to switch um, the lights off so we can see the brightness of these lights. So as you can see, it's pretty bright. Um, gives you a rough idea of how bright these lights are. These are super bright LEDs that we have put on, on this machine. So even if you're doing any, any playing in the dark, you can actually see clearly where you're going. I've stuck the battery on the outside, guys, because I'm still modifying the machine and it's just been completing all its tests. So that's all being complete now. So now we're going to pack it up um, for Malcolm Ro Royer in the US, and he's probably excited um, to get this machine. All right, so put some lights back on. Um, we can go through the hydraulics um, 
but you know it's a pretty common standard function with the hydraulics so i'll show that in the next video but that's pretty much what we have on this particular one and thank you for watching